Hey there. Welcome again to another uh, slightly redneck video on knot tying. Um, today I'm going to show you how to tie a trucker's hitch. This is a great knot to use anytime you need to put a lot of tension on something. For example, if you've got a uh, load in the back of the truck that you need to secure. That's what I'm going to be simulating here. I've got a pallet laid out here with a tarp on it. We're just going to pretend like this is a truck bed. This is one side of the bed, or this. Let me get my hand in the camera. This right here is one side of the truck. You're going to attach your rope to that side of the truck, whether you use a, a bow line, two half hitches, whatever method you want to attach it to that side of the truck. You, this is your load in the middle of the truck, truck bed. You're going to run your rope across the load, around the other pivot point of the truck, which would be you know the other side of the truck bed or something like that, and bring it back on itself. Now here's where I'm going to be tying this knot. Somewhere right up here in the middle, I've got more rope than I need. Normally I would try to get it up there you know, on the end so there's not a lot of tag in hanging out, but it's okay, it'll work this way. So then what I'm going to do is find a spot right here about in the middle. I'm going to make a slip knot. If you need to know how to do that, if you can't figure it out, then you know, check my video on how to tie a slip knot and I'll show you that. But uh, make sure you tie it the right way so that when you're pulling on it this way, it's not binding up on itself. If you make it backwards, and if I'm pulling on it this way, you can see it does tighten up on my finger. So make sure you do it the right way. Then it's very easy to tie. All I do is put the end of my rope through there, through that little slip knot, and I can put an incredible amount of force on that knot, and that's not going to go anywhere. Pinch it off right there, just put your finger where it comes out of that loop, and put you a half hitch. And that rope is secure, it's not going to come off there. I can pick this pallet up with that, it's not going to come loose. To untie it, all you do is take the tag in there, pull on it, it comes loose, and there you go, you've got all your knots out of it. So let me show you that one more time. Make sure this is all in the camera, you can get up close so you can see what I'm doing. So, lay my cargo down, whatever it is I'm going to be tying down, run my rope over it, through the pivot point on the other side of the truck, somewhere up in here I'm going to create a slip knot. Oh, almost did that backwards. I'm going to put my rope through that loop I just created. And then I'm going to crank on it. And pull on it hard because you can get an incredible amount of tension on that. Now this is the part I want you to see right here, if you can see this, hopefully. Is that to hold this tension that's in this knot, all you've got to do is pinch it. I just grabbed this loop that's coming out pinch it right there with my finger and my thumb and that keeps it from sliding back. It's pretty easy to hold actually. To tie my half hitch, it's just like tying two half hitches, but you're only going to tie one. Don't pull your tag end all the way through there. Leave a loop and pull it back tight like that. Tighten it up on itself. All you need is that one half hitch and that's going to hold. So hopefully that helps. That gives you something to, uh, to work with. If you want to see how I use this knot in you know, practical applications, and then check out my video on how to uh, choose the right knot for the job. And I've got links in there to all my other videos um, on what I consider to be the essential knots. Learn this knot, very good one. I use it all the time. Anytime I need to put tension on something, um, if I need to pull two fence posts together, if I need to uh, tie something down the back of a truck, secure my kayak to the top of the truck, whatever, this is the knot that I use. So thanks again for watching. Leave some comments for me, and as always, God bless.